everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video my dad and I make cookies and we made pork chops with cauliflower and cheese sauce all together per portion it's about 1600 calories the cookies are about 100 calories each so here's the footage of that I hope you enjoy so we have 200 grams of plain flour 200 grams of demerara sugar 200 grams of oats porridge oats and 200 grams of butter and it's been sitting for 10 minutes why is, it, why is it been sitting for 10 minutes to soften, soften to soften one large egg or two small so i'm just gonna put the sugar straight in and have a roll and i bought myself a gizmo because it's much easier than doing it by hand Two small eggs, small to medium eggs going in, just dump them in Amber. And we should use the whisk. The electric oh, whisk. Whisk section of the Ah come on, let's try. I'm gonna try something here that might go horribly wrong. So slowest speed and gently in, right go on in. Go on, keep going. In with the old. Tip them in. Right, foldy foldy. magic hand from the side tips the flour in wow I nearly missed the thing there by looking through the camera and this is magically supposed to make a dough and like magic because I forgot to fill them a little bit it turns into dough okay don't forget to grease your trays we did that once didn't we yes but then we did it it's all it takes just a light greasing Using a spoon. Dollop. Dollop. Oh, that might be flat on the edge. Right, they'll all be flat on the edge when they come to the edge of the tray. If they settle, I'm just like it's a good job this is experimental. But is that out left in the bowl or have you scraped the last? Scrape the bowl. Excellent. And what is it? What's the timings again? Ow! 200 degrees for 10 minutes. Quickly so we don't use the heat. Use, lose, you lose. They're not looking bad. Yeah, well, it's experimental, we'll find out. Yeah. Continually use this excuse. Experimental. Are they ready? They are ready. So that was how long? About 12 minutes? About 12 minutes. And they are going to be lush. They were on the bottom, we could, should have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, done? Done. Right, back to the pork chops, pork cutlets. So, Dad. Oh, I need another one to take the taste away. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Thank you. Mm. Um, um, um. Okay, this is in underneath these pork cutlets, it's leftover pasta sauce that we made in another video and I added an extra can of tomatoes to water it down a bit but it looks like it even needs a bit more juicing so just a little bit of water to water it down a bit I've had this old enamel pan for cooking in for about 30 or more years right what I'm gonna do next is sprinkle chicken oxo that's a vegetable oxo cube. That's a vegetable one, yeah. What I'm going to do is, so I'm putting them straight on top of the stock cube. Then I'm putting them back in the fridge for another couple of hours till tea time. Did I say they've been in overnight? No. Yeah. They've already been in overnight. On the other side, now on we've the turned them yeah. over. Turn them over. And they're going back in there, in the fridge, until about five o'clock. This is sort of a marinade sauce. Leftover. Yeah, from leftover pasta sauce. You've got to be dead careful when you put foil on something like this that it doesn't touch the tomato because the acid in the tomato reacts with the foil and, and brings nasties out of the foil. And now goes back in the fridge. Toxins. Aluminium is not good for you. No. Right, that's out What's the temperature? Pork steaks in there, it gets uh, 180. And how long is it going to go now? Hour and a half. <sighs> nippers, nippers, nippers. What have I done with the nippers? <laughs> done. Dusted. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed watching today's video. 
If you want to get in touch with me, all my social media links are down in the description box below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe or and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you next week.